yeah, excited, Oli. Um, so it's, we've had a week off. We didn't train during the week. Um, five games in the best part of three weeks. Um, lads deserve the rest. Um, so they're all up for it um, today. And we'll be looking to get a result as we have the, you know, the, other, the other games. So, yeah. The lads, still, the lads know that I'm looking at them. Glenn and I are looking at them. They want to perform. Um, they're getting back to something like where they were before the first, second lockdown, however you want to look at it. Um, so they've not been fully fit. Um, and I think they want to prove to everybody they're just the same size as they were sort of six, seven months ago, whenever. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've. We're, um, Crippo's going on at left back for us today. Um, Clark is going to go centre half. Um, and we've got Jack Jewell coming in at right back, albeit he's not here at the moment. Um, so we're pushing up Callum into sort of a central midfield role. Um, so that's where we are, yeah. Surely that counts as an assist, no? <laughs> Surely that's an assist, isn't it? Extremely motivated because of the circumstances. First off, we're through. Um, we're through, and we're top of the group as well. Clean, uh, six wins out of six. Uh, wins breed confidence. Clean sheets breed confidence, and of course, goals breed confidence. So, if we're ticking all the boxes, then we're, you know we're, ho we're hopefully expecting upon ourselves to go far and to perform well throughout the rest of the tournament. Keeping the game alive, I think we sustained the open play momentum that we got in the first half with a plethora of chances that should have been taken and we got even more in the second half. And there wasn't a question of the game slowing down this time like it was last week. I think it's a question of clinicism um, to put, you know, dispatch the opposition really. But I think you can look at that as a positive as well. Because we sustained the momentum, we never allowed them back into the game. So you could argue for, for, for both points, really, but I think the main positive is we never gave them a, a chance or a hope um, of getting back into the game, really. 
uh, extremely. That's what goalkeepers are there for, and that's what the defence is there for to keep it out and keep keep it clean. So we're pleased, uh, Kieran and I, to have two on the bounce now. Um, I think we've got four between us now. So uh, I'm keeping tally, by the way. I don't know if he is, but uh, uh, but no, I think it's a it's a collective. Um, it's not just the defence and the keeper. It's a team effort as well. Uh, people have got to do their jobs off the ball um, in football as well as obviously going the other way. And I think as a as a unit. Um, as a collective, I think we are starting to pride ourselves on having that uh, clean defensive record. So, on the whole, we're very, very pleased that we're continuing this and long may it continue through the next four games. I think you've got two things. You've got one, to, uh, players uh, on an individual level, whoever is tackled, to keep their temperament and not let it get to them and just play the game and don't rise to their level because you could you know the challenges there are they're purposeful they're, of, they're purposeful in the sense that you're trying to get a rise out of a player for them to react um, and it's important that you keep your temperament in those challenges no matter how dirty or controversial they may be and the second thing is having leaders on the pitch people who um, can be that voice of reason to calm everybody down and ensure that we don't get involved with the nonsense or the controversy, if you like, because once you stoop down to their level, you know, you make the game much more difficult. Um, I wouldn't call the game scrappy, uh, primarily because we didn't get involved and lower themselves down to, to their level. We, we rose above it. I'm very confident, uh, extremely confident, knowing that we're going to be playing here um, on our own pitch, knockout match. It's what football's made of, and I think six wins out of six, Again, with the clean sheets and the, and the goal scoring, I believe all the lads will feel as if we can blow them, blow them off the park, really. Just ensure that we do it right on the day. It's all good of me sitting here talking, thinking, yeah, we're going to blow them out of the park. But um, it all, knockout football is about on the day, and we need to get it right on the day. But I'm very confident, and I'm sure the lads are, that we'll get it right on the day. Yes, I was, yeah. I thought from the start, Boys started brightly, good warm up, started the game brightly. Just a continu um, continuation from last week's game, really. Um, two good performances, passing football, lots of fun. Lads were well into it, straight from the off. Um, and you get that feel, don't you, straight away. It took a bit of time to get us get going, but I always felt we were in control straight from the start. So we're really, really pleased with the whole, the whole, the whole game from start to finish. Bit in between, everything was great, so yeah, really good. Sam Floyd in the middle of the park, a very experienced player. Um, didn't know much about him actually until we got here, but every single game he's got better and better and better. Um, it's great to have people like him on board. Obviously, Josh Cripps as well, another experienced player. Does a lot of talking on the pitch, keeps the boys on their toes. And then you've got the quieter players like Jamie White up front, um, and D-Mac. Not, you know, don't have as much to say, but what they say and what they do on the pitch is so important. So the younger lads look up to them. So yeah, yeah, that's that's been really good for us. It's frustrating because I'm I'm getting the feeling that some teams do it on purpose. You know, they're just trying to rattle us. We haven't lost for a long time. Um, I think it's a little bit of a bit of a cliche. Get in there early. You know, win the first tackle. Hurt you. Know, I'm not saying they want to hurt people, but. Yeah, you want to you want to um, enforce yourself onto the game, and sometimes when you play against stronger teams, that's what happens. However, saying that though, if you take the last Windhurst game to this one, um, in my last interview, I, you know, I was a little bit rattled, let's say, and we had a serious word of them, but we weren't, we weren't going to have it today. We didn't have that today. The boys took it on the chin. They've, got, they've just got to take it. Some teams are going to come here and they're going to try and hit you hard. However, some teams, without being I'm not, Trying to sound disrespectful, but some of the lads we've got are quick, they're fast on the ball, and sometimes it's just a tasty challenge, it looks worse than what it is. They beat a player, it's a little bit late. But yes, there was one or two there which I think was sort of left in on purpose, and you know, there's no need to do it, but the boys didn't re didn't react in a bad way today. We kept going, and that and that proved it by the end of the game. We sat in the chambers at the end of the game there, and someone's hurt their foot. You know, one's been stamped on his toe, one's got cramp. It's, it's been a lot of football in a short period of time, considering we haven't played for a long period. So we already know, I'm not going to name names yet, but there's already a few we think aren't going to be available for next week, we're going to struggle with. So 
that's where the reserve team comes into play. You might have to bring in one or two players. But it's never easy when you've played so many games in short, um, short space of time with no football for the last three or four months. So at the moment, there's one or two who are walking wounded and we'll see how they are by Wednesday. Two or three, we've been watching a lot, me and Mark, who, who we like, um, forward players. Um, Max has been doing very well for them. Um, Josh, Josh Houlihan? Josh Carey. Sorry, Josh Carey, sorry. And, Sam Houlihan. And Sam Houlihan. There's three names which come to mind straight away um, in areas we need. Yeah, and you, sir. Yeah. Um, there's four, sorry. So there's, there's been some good players in and around the reserves, good young players. We've had them involved already. Um, once or twice, so if we need to, we know we've got a few to step up. Yeah. Always confident. You, you always got to go in, you know, full of yourself, working to win. You know, we know a little bit about Colton Common. Me and Mark have come across them before. Um, we've played them a few times in friendlies. Um, nice little setup. Some good managers down there. So they have them well drilled. It'd be the same story, won't it? Everyone's coming to beat um, Infinity. Knock us out of the cup, be the first team to beat us. So we, we expect a tough game. But from my experience with Colin Common, they play a good, good standard of football. They like to pass the ball around. You know, they've got some good people down there. So I'm expecting a tough game. But also at the same time, you know, we've been playing some good stuff the last two games. So it, it'll be a challenge for us, you know, another good challenge. It's massive. It's a massive thing. Me and Mark have done it for a long, long time. I mean, I've been around youth football for at least 12, well, 15 years, um, been doing youth football. So I know how important it is to have one or two players you, you stick with all the way through and suddenly you get to a senior level of football and you've got ready-made players. So to have an 18s and 23s is fantastic. You need that at a club. If you want to progress, I mean, there's not a lot of money around, you know, so it's nice to have players homegrown who want to play for you. One of the most important things you get from that is you get there to, they respect you, they're committed to the club, they've known you for a long period of time. So it's a great way of recruiting players and also keeping good players. And you get one or two decent ones, you know, you know it's like a football, they follow you around from place to place. And um, that's what we're going to try and hopefully do here. Have a nice little 18 set up, get that working, get the 23 set up, get the management in place, and then we'll go from there. It's a start, you've got, yeah, you've got to start somewhere. We'll get those two done in the next year or so. And then we'll, we'll see, how, see how it goes from there. So you're yeah, really looking forward to that.